Hey there, I'm Andrew, and I'm a product and automations builder, and today we're going to set up Discord for NAN. So I like Discord. Uh, it's really easy to use and really easy to set up. Slack, also a great option, but I'm doing the self-hosted version of NAN, and uh, Discord seems to be a little bit more user-friendly for that. I'll do another video with Slack in the future to show how to set that up and some of the dependencies for that. I'm using Discord to do some really cool things like get messages sent to me so I can react to them to approve automations to continue forward. So uh, one of the examples of this is I have a workflow where tweets are automatically created based off of an RSS feed. I have a video on how to set that up. The tweet idea um, is sent to Discord and in Discord, I can either give it a thumbs up to approve it, in which case it will send out to Twitter and Blue Sky, uh, basically acting as a trigger to determine if the workflow should continue. Um, I also get error notifications, which is great, so I can keep track of anything that's going wrong in my automation, although it's really annoying when things go wrong because then I get a lot of errors. And I've also started to integrate it with some things like Reddit too, so uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, we'll go through how to set up just the Discord part for today. So to get started, we're gonna need to hop over to the Discord uh, developers dashboard here. We'll have the link down below, but it's discord.com slash developers slash applications. So we'll get rid of this. I don't know what that was for. <laughs> um, first thing we'll do Let's click this new application button. Obviously this assumes you have a Discord account. So if you don't, just sign up. That's normal sign up flow. Nothing really exciting there. So let's call this YouTube demo. We'll confirm that. Click create. Wait, are you a human? I am human. No Blade Runner situations over here, hopefully. All right, so now we're in this general info dashboard here. Uh, let's hop over to NAN and just see what we even need to make this work. So let's just do get a message. So we're just gonna do this so we can create a new credential. All right. So we're going to call this our YouTube demo. And what this is looking for here is just a bot token. In order to actually use the bot with Discord, we actually need to add the bot to a Discord server. So um, I have a Discord server I've already created. These are pretty easy to make. Once you've created a Discord account, you just click add server create my own, you know, walk through this and you'll, you'll have one ready to go. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So once you have one up and running, we don't have this bot, this YouTube de demo bot in Discord yet. So we need to actually create it and then add it into Discord. And then we can get our necessary bot token for NAN and link the whole thing up so NAN can control this bot that is in Discord. So uh, let's get this bot added. This OAuth2 section. And we're going to click on bot because we're making a bot. And the permissions here are going to depend on what you need it to do. Some people I've seen just do administrator and then it can do everything. That could be dangerous if you have certain automations that, you know, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, you control what happens in the automation, so generally should be okay. But if you want to be extra safe, you can do, uh, you can limit the permissions to, you know, sending messages, rating messages, all that. Like pick, pick and choose whatever you need to do. Luckily, everything is completely out of order. There's not alphabetized or anything, so you might have to do a command F if you're trying to find message or 
uh, read or whatever, or maybe it should spell message, right? That helps. <laughs> and you can find all the message stuff and select it if you just need reading messages and you don't need channel creation or uh, using emojis or any of this stuff. Uh, we're just going to do administrator because it's easy and that's for a demo. So now down here, we're going to have this generated URL. We're going to copy this, we're going to go to it. Off screen, it will open Discord in its own window. And it's basically just going to um, prompt you to add the bot to the server and you'll authorize it. And it will ask you if you're human again. A lot of concerns about robot people. So now we've done that. Our YouTube demo bot, you can see is showing up now. So now let's get this part set up so we can actually access some stuff. In the Discord dashboard, we'll go down to bot. You can do stuff like add an icon and a banner for your bot if you want to get fancy, but we're not going to do that today. Uh, you're going to see the name. You can change that too if you need to. Uh, we'll see this token here. And we need to hit reset. Reset bots token. Let's do it. Oh, I got to submit my password. All right, new token generated. So we are going to take this and as always, don't share this with anyone. I'm sharing it now, but I'm going to delete it or reset it after this video. We'll pop that in, hit save. Let's give this a name so we know what it is. And save it. So we have this set to resource type message. It's going to get many. We can select which server we want to access. It only has access to this one. Pick our channel. Let's do any and approver. You can set a limit. We'll just return all. There aren't going to be that many in there uh, because right now there aren't any. All right, we'll type in this is a test message. Here is another one more. Okay, I lied. This is really the last one. I need to select this test channel here because I wrote my messages in this test channel. So let's just do this. And you can see it returns all those messages in here. So in here, we're seeing we're not getting any content and we're supposed to get content. If we go to another one I've set up over here, and you'll see, hello, this is a test message, shows up. Uh, if we do this, you can see all this content here. That's what we want. So that means we missed a step. So we go back into our application um, settings in here and go down to bot. We need to make sure we enable these intents. This one, we click save. And then we try this again. We can see now we are getting the content. So make sure you don't skip that step. That is important um, to actually see content, which is important if you want to use an automation with Discord. There's some other ones in here, uh, presence intent, server members intent. Um, you can I have these enabled for another bot I'm using. Uh, you can go in here and read more about them to see if there's anything that your bot specifically would require for these to be activated. Now we're getting content in here. You can see a list of messages. We can go through and delete, do all sorts of cool stuff. Um, this little automation right here basically would check for approval on uh, a message. So if there's a thumbs up reaction, it would uh, get triggered here. So you can see here, thumbs up, it would proceed to actually tweet it. That's one really basic example of uh, this automation. So it checks every second for messages and then sends them through this loop and the approved ones get tweeted. This one just deletes everything in a channel. It's annoying to clean things up. 
there's some other bots out there that do this, but I've created this little automation to, uh, to clean those up and it just gets all the messages, loops through them and deletes them one by one with a second interval in between. So you don't get rate limited, uh, which you don't want to do. So just be aware of that. That's pretty much it. Setting up Discord with NAN. There's a few little tricky settings in there. So be sure that you don't forget about those. I'll have a whole walkthrough guide on how to set this up in the description below, um, as well as some links to other videos that might be relevant. Now you can go ahead and incorporate NAN into some of your workflows. So happy automating. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.